Hey, it's great to be with you today. And uh, I believe the Lord's gonna bring blessing into your life. The Lord's gonna use you today. And uh, we're believing God to bring acceleration to your life, to your ministry, to your family, an increase in the name of Jesus. I wanna read Acts 10, 38, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. Now, sometimes we look at what Jesus does, you know, and we see him uh, uh, healing the sick. We see him feeding the multitudes. We see him uh, uh, raising the dead, cleansing the lepers. And we said, well, that's easy, you know, because he's Jesus. But the truth is he was anointed by the Holy Ghost. But I like the last line of that verse. It says, for God was with him. So we might say, well, it was really easy for Jesus because God was with him. But uh, I'm going to tell you something today that uh, I believe God is with you. God is with me today. If we are born again, I would say to you today that God is with you. You're not alone. You may feel uh, lonely. You may feel depressed. You may feel like uh, giving up. But today, I want to declare to you that God is with you. Praise the Lord. I think somebody ought to get happy about that, knowing that God is with you today. But it said that he went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. I, I want to say something that is very, uh, you know, startling to me is how many people in church, we're seeing so many people come to the altar, they're oppressed and uh, they're, they're beat down and a lot of people are tormented in their mind. A lot of people are, are depressed and a lot of people are uh, fighting uh, uh, evil thoughts and all kinds of things and they're sad and they're upset. But uh, so oppressed people today are in abundance. But I'm here to tell you something that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. God is still with him. But I wanna read another verse to you. I wanna get this back to you. I want you to understand that sometimes we think, yeah, that's easy for Jesus. God's there, no problem. The Holy Ghost, we get all those things. But let me read this, Isaiah 7, 14. Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. I like that. It's really, uh, uh, in the Hebrew, it's the Lord himself shall give you a miracle. Today, I believe the Lord wants to give you a miracle, not his cousin, not the neighbor, no one else, but the Lord will give you a miracle. But it said, behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son. You know what is so great about Jesus? He was born of a virgin. It, it is uh, a miracle, his birth. But listen, his name shall be called Emmanuel and shall call his name Emmanuel. When you go over into the New Testament, we find that he's Emmanuel, not, uh, it, spelled with an E, but listen, says Matthew 1, 23, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is being interpreted God with us. See, now, Isaiah prophesied of the day that Jesus would be born. Thousands of years before Jesus was born, he prophesied about it. Now we read in Matthew. Matthew says that you're going to have a son. Mary's going to have a son. They shall call his name Emmanuel. But the words I want you to get is that means God with us. And we read that because God was with Jesus, he went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. Because God was with him, he went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. But I'm here to tell you today, because God is with us. He's Emmanuel, God with us. We do good and we heal the oppressed of the devil. We do good. What kind of good do we do? Well, we, we want to do everything we can to be a blessing to people. We feed the hungry. We drill water wells. We uh, help those that are in need. That's the good that we do, but we heal the oppressed. There are people that are bound that need to be set free. And because God is with us and God is with you today, I'm going to tell you, you might have family that are bound, but today you can be the deliverer to your people. You might have neighbors that are bound, but be the deliverer to your people. I remember being uh, one time in uh, Guatemala. They brought a woman to the platform that was bound by devils. She was a witch doctor. Her name was Juana. 
We prayed for her and we rebuked the devil. And I, I don't know if you understand this, but we rebuked and the devil did not buke. <laughs> it took, it was taking a long time. And finally they loaded this woman back into a back of a pickup and took her to the local church where a group of local ladies who God was with them. They prayed not one hour, not two hours, not 10 hours, not 24 hours, but 36 hours they prayed until she was set free. I don't know if it should take that long, but I'm going to tell you, uh, do whatever's necessary to get the oppressed free. I came to that church on Sunday morning. That was at a crusade, but they had her at church, and they brought a woman in the office. I did not recognize her. And uh, they said, this is Juana. She's been set free by the power of God. Her husband picked me up and he spun me around. He was just a little guy, but he was so happy that his wife wasn't bound by the devil anymore. And I'm going to tell you something. Because God is with us and because God is with you, we heal the oppressed of the devil and we do good today. Matthew 28 verse 20 says, Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. I'm here to tell you something that God is with you always. He will stick with you to get the job done. The Bible says that uh, he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. That's because he's with you and he's in you. When you are saved, the new birth qualifies you to have God as your companion. He's with you. He said, I'm with you always. See, you may feel alone in that home today. You may feel alone in that car today. You may feel alone at your job and in your family, but God says, I am with you always, even to the close of the age. I'm gonna tell you something. He said he's gonna stick with you. And today, I'm so glad that he's with you. And because he's with you, you do good and heal all that are oppressed of the devil. The Bible says in Mark 16, 20, they went forth and preached everywhere. The Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following, amen. See, the apostles went forth and preached everywhere and God also worked with them. You realize that if he's going to be working with them, he'll work with you today. God was working with them. God will work with you today. When you're born again, you qualify to carry his presence, his divine presence. And that qualifies you to operate in the supernatural. Today, your hands are healing hands. Your mouth uh, is going to speak freedom to your atmosphere and change things in, in people's life. Today, I'm asking you to change your thoughts. Bring every thought into captivity. The Bible says in Ephesians 6, it says, bring every thought into captivity, casting down imaginations. I'm going to tell you today, uh, stop thinking those natural thoughts. But when you think natural thoughts, that's why you suffer all kinds of limitations. Today, think on the Bible. Think on the good things. Think on heavenly things, and you'll break off all the limitations over your life. I pray for you today that you'll be used of God. Remember that God is with you. He's in you. He's for you, and today, do good. Help us, you know. You can help somebody else doing something good. You can help us drill a water well. We're still doing them for $1,500. You can help us feed a child. We're doing that for a dollar a meal. You can help us uh, by uh, sending us to preach the gospel around the world. We got a crusade coming up where we are believing God for $50,000 that we might have enough sound equipment to reach over 100,000 people. Do good. And then let God use you to be a, uh, one that brings healing to those that are oppressed of the devil today. If you're there listening to me and you need freedom, I declare freedom in your life right now. Over your mind, over your body, over your spirit, there's liberty today. And if you've never given your heart to Jesus, ask him in. Just say, Lord, come into my heart. I need a fresh start, a new beginning. I believe you died on the cross for me and rose again on the third day. I believe today. I declare Jesus is my Lord. In the name of Jesus, you're never going to be the same. Be used of God, do good, and heal all that are oppressed of the devil. Why? Because God is with you. He's Emmanuel. He's never changed. He's with you today. We love you so much, and we're looking forward to being with you again. Share this with somebody. Share it. Make a comment. It'll encourage us that we know you're watching. We're glad to uh, see you today, but we want to know uh, how this broadcast is blessing you. If you want to send an offering, we have Cash App, we have Venmo, we have PayPal. You can get on our website. 
but we want to uh, hear from you. We love you today. God bless you all.